Hey guys, welcome to Zeus Fitness. We got a lot, a lot, a lot of praise and comments about our no repeat 15 minute dumbbell workouts. So what we did is we filmed four, one for legs, one for upper body, one for core, and one for total body. And we chained them all together to make this awesome 60 minute no repeat dumbbell only workout. So, are you up for the challenge? 60 minutes on the clock, grab your dumbbells. Let's do this. And we're gonna do some goblet squats to begin with. So nice and easy. We're gonna go for up to a minute of these and then we change on to the next exercise. So we're going in three, two, one, and away we go. So tuck that dumbbell in nice and close to your chin and your chest so it's not pulling you forward. Keep your eyes forward, get down nice and low, get those glutes engaged so it's not all quads and knees taking the work. And just take your time with every repetition. Time nice and low. Keep your back nice and straight, core engaged and eyes forward. Okay, now we're gonna go into front lunges, alternate ones. So grab both dumbbells, and we're gonna step forward into a lunge to the right, then go back and step forward into a lunge on the left. Away we go, so forward. And again, try and stay nice and upright. Don't be tilting from the hips, and leaning forward and putting all the weight on your front leg. There will be some easier ones thrown in there throughout the workout. Kind of an active recovery to get your breath back. Let the lactic acid clear out of those quads and glutes for the next exercise. And stop, now we're gonna go in the back lunges. So, same idea, alternating. Step back with the right, step through, and on to the left. Yeah, try and keep the eyes forward, not looking at the ground. If you're looking at the ground, the likelihood is you're tilting from the hips. Put your weight in your front leg, as opposed to engaging the glutes on the back leg and stay in the movement. And stop. Now, we're dropping the dumbbells for a little second. We're doing a single leg bridge. I'm going to alternate with this one. So, raise the left leg up, up with the hips, set it down, go with the other side. Now, you want to keep your femur bones in line with each other. And this one. So, up as high as you can with the hips, getting those hamstring glutes and lower back engaged. Take the onus off the quads for a minute. Let them have a bit of active recovery. And stop, now we're gonna do some calf raises. So, again, slightly easier one. Give the quads and hamstrings a little bit of time to rest. Get the dumbbells, and we just start here. Go up on the ball of our feet. Contract the calf muscles, and bring it back down nice and slow. Let's 
Just really getting the calves a good flex throughout. And stop, now we set those dumbbells down. We're going to do a back lunge, high knee, and alternate the legs. So keep the left foot down, step back with the right, touch the knee off the floor, and come up and do a high knee. So make sure you get a good jump. Then we alternate sides. And stop. Now we're going to do a side lunge. I'm going to take a dumbbell for this in goblet squat position. Start with the feet together. I'm going to step out to the side and lunge back in out to the other side and lunge. So we're getting a good stretch on the inner thighs throughout this one. Make sure the leg stays straight when you're doing this. Make sure when you're bending the leg that's moving, the knee is in line with the hip and in line with the foot. And stop. Now we got step leg deadlift. So, done single ones before, now we're doing double ones. Both dumbbells in hand. Knees slightly soft. Pin the shoulder blades back. Tilting from the hips. And a good stretch on in the hamstrings, into your glutes, into your lower back. Just make sure you're keeping those shoulder blades pinned back and the shoulders aren't rounding forward. Nice stop. We're going into a little Pilates move next, guys. So lie down, right arm above head. Bring your knee and your ankles up the front. Right angle here, right angle here. Lift the knee up and you just bring the knee towards the elbow. Back flat from knee down to foot. Nice and parallel with the ground. Trying to keep a gap in here at your obliques. There's a little Pilates maneuver that never fails to get those glutes firing. Make sure your back's nice and straight, core engaged, and make sure you get right angles between hamstring and calves, and right angles between quads and abs. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is straighten out that leg, but try and avoid that, keep the tension on, and you'll start to feel that really burning your glutes in no time. And stop, now we're going to swap on to the other side, nice and quick. So, straighten out the arm, raise the knee up, and then the knee comes towards the elbow, and back nice and slow. Again, back flat, right angle between hamstring and calves, right angle between quads and abs. Back nice and straight, gap in here at the oblique, so we've got our core engaged at all times.
on step. Now we got our tabletop kick ups, a hip a little exercise. So we get our hands behind us, shoulders pinned back. We come up into a bridge and we straighten out our legs, so up like so, and then onto the other side. Don't let your butt hit the floor. Just keep it one inch off the floor. Straighten your leg out. Again, try and keep the femur bones aligned so they're not kicking way up towards the ceiling like so. It's a really good one for hamstrings and glutes and lower back. And stop. Now we've got a curtsy squat coming with the right leg. So we'll take it like a goblet squat again. And we're going to side lunge and then back into a curtsy. So on this one, your foot goes behind and slightly to the side. Get the knee down nice and close to the floor. And you can touch the floor as long as you're not banging it off there. Just to make sure we're not turning into the hip flexor stretch. Stop. Now we go on to the other side. So side lunge to the left into the curtsy and away we go. Up. Okay, God damn it. jumping split squats. Yep, it's gonna be horrible. I'm gonna struggle, but anyway. So, right foot down, left knee down, jump up, scissor, into the next one, knee right down to touch. Saving this one right towards the end due to its absolute horribleness. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Ha. Right, last exercise, wall sit. If you don't have a wall, get down into a holding squat position instead. Down we go. Right angle between hamstring and calves. Back against the wall. Go to your happy place. Keep the hands off the legs. Should be burning like hell right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one, and stop. Oh, ho, 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 ho. First exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna do some push-ups to begin with. So you actually don't even need the dumbbells for this one. If you're struggling with the full push-ups, we're gonna do box push-ups. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, and away we go. So down, nice and slow and controlled. Remember, it doesn't matter how quick you do them, a minute is still gonna last a minute for each exercise. And if you're starting full push-ups and you go to box push-ups, that's totally fine. So it's all going to be upper body stuff today. I'm going to be using dumbbells pretty much for the majority of the workout, but a few exercises in here are going to be just body weight ones. And stop. Now we're going to do some reverse snow angels. So again, don't need the dumbbells for this, but after this, it's all dumbbells. So what we're going to do, line in front, stretch your arms out, and then we're going to peel our shoulders back to keep the arms straight, keeping the palms facing the ground. Lift your upper body, squeeze those shoulder blades back. Get those lats working. Get the lower back working also. Stop, now we've got some Cuban presses coming up, so grab the dumbbells, this is for the shoulders. We're gonna do an upright row, turn and press, just like so. So remember, it's an upright pull into that position. It's not reverse bicep curl. Keep the dumbbells nice and close to you as you bring them up and press. Should be feeling that burn in those shoulders already. And now we're gonna go on the bent over bicep curl. So we tilt from the hips, nails point outward, back nice and flat, pull those dumbbells up towards your temples. Don't let your elbows move at all. They stay directly underneath your shoulders. Keep your core strong throughout. Keep your back nice and flat. So try not to swing the dumbbells up. Start with the arms out straight. Squeeze those biceps. And uh, contraction. As you bring the dumbbells just either side of your temples and the side of your head. And stop, now we're going to lie flat on our back for this one. Turn our cap around, we're going to do skull crushers. So, get the dumbbells up like so. Again, elbows stay perfectly still. Directly underneath or above the shoulders. Don't let the elbows swing forward. Bring the dumbbells down, just brushing past your ears. Make sure there's a good bend in the elbow so you're getting full extension of the tricep before you contract it.
And start, now you're going to stay down and we're going to go back to the chest exercise, just going to do a chest press from here, so elbows out and line the shoulders. Starting here, we're going to breathe out as we press up, squishing the pecs in between each other, or in together, sorry I should say. Dumbbells come up to meet in the middle. Triceps should be starting to get pretty exhausted at this stage, after the skull crushers. And stop, now we're going to go into Renegade Rows, so just have one dumbbell handy for this one. We're getting up in the push-up position, and we're pulling the dumbbell up on each side, alternate. Up like so, try not to twist the hips too much, keep the legs nice and straight in a high plank position. And stop. Now, next one, ideally you'll have something to hang on to. If you don't, just put your hand behind the back. We're going to do single arm side lateral raise. So grab onto this, lean into it, and raise the arm up. Try not to swing your body into it. Take your time, kill the momentum in the way down so it doesn't become a momentum based swing. Just take your time, let the lats, or let the deltoids. Feel the burn and then control it on the way down. And keep the dumbbell a few inches away from the hips again so we're not getting the hip drive into it to help get the dumbbell up. Nothing but deltoids here. And swap it on to the other side. Again, if you don't have anything to hold on to, guys, just put your hand behind your back like so and do it. Okay, just try not to swing into it. This will, uh, away we go. This will avoid any temptation of swinging or contorting your body to get a little bit of momentum to drive the dumbbell up. And stop, now we're going to grab the other dumbbell, we're going to do some hammer curls next for the biceps. So just heads of the dumbbells facing forward, shoulders pinned back, bring them up towards you. Again, keep the elbows in line with the shoulders, keep them in tight by your ribs. Try not to let them swing up like this, okay? Really focus on the bicep, let it do its work. Three, two, one. 
and stop. Now we're going to the chest flies. So just lie flat on your back. Bring the arms up, the dumbbells, knees bent, and we're lowering them down nice and wide. So the dumbbells and line my elbows and line my shoulder. Make sure we got everything in line. And stop, okay, up next, we've got an upright row. So we're just gonna take the dumbbell like so, and we're gonna pull the elbows up like so. So bring it up towards your chin. Get the elbows up nice and high. And stop up next, we've got a halo. So we're gonna take the dumbbell, place it out front like so, and we bring it around the back of the head. So bend the elbows as you're bringing it round behind your head. Keep that nice and close in towards the back of your head as you do it. Bring it out front, and then back round. should start to feel us burning the deltoids pretty quick. Now another thing I should say about this guys, keep the core engaged, so keep the abs drawn into the belly button, tighten up those abs to start you, stop you, arching your back and this one. And stop. Up next we got a single arm overhead tricep press. So we're going to take the dumbbell like so, bring it behind the head and straighten it out like so. Keep the bicep pinned to the ear so we're not doing this. Try and bring your dumbbell down almost like you're trying to scratch the center of your back with it before you extend it. Keep the core strong again this one so we're not arching the back. Ah, we're coming into our last minute then guys, so we swap over onto the other side, take it in the left hand, left bicep to left ear, and fully straighten. Again, keep that core strong, try not to arch the back. Should be starting to feel that really burning and getting uncomfortable. And we're coming into our last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and pop it down. All right, give yourself a good shake after that one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start with the dumbbell crunch. It's gonna start off nice and easy. And we're gonna take the dumbbell in one hand like so. We're gonna keep the legs straight. We're gonna peel our spine up off, come up straight like so, and lower ourselves back down again. Okay, and away we go. Breathe out on contraction. Try not to use the dumbbell to help you get momentum to get up. Just use your core and just also don't splat yourself back on the mat. Lower yourself down nice and slow. So you're engaging all your core muscles as you do this. You're breathing in on the way down. And you're breathing out on the way back up. And don't worry if you can only get up to here, that's okay. You'll get there in time. Just keep working on it. Go up as high as your abs will allow you to go. It's a great one for getting them all switched on, warmed up and ready for the workout up ahead. And stop now, I'm gonna do some leg lifts. So we've done this one before. Gonna get the dumbbells up in a chest press position. And then we're gonna raise the legs up and lower them back down. Don't let them touch the floor. Keep the legs straight, no bend in the knees. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out in the way up. Now, if you're struggling with your lower back on this one, you're fine, it's arching. Just at the base of the spine, raise your upper body up a little, like so, and that should eliminate that curve in the lower back. And stop, now we're gonna come up in the side plank position. I'm gonna do side plank dip throughs. So what we're doing, we raise up, crisscross the feet. Starting here, we're gonna breathe out as we bring the dumbbell through and bring it back up, opening up the chest. Keep the elbow directly underneath your shoulder. Take your time with it. Control the dumbbell as you're lowering it through. And stop, now we're gonna swap it onto the other side. So in position, elbow underneath shoulder, crisscross the feet, raise up into that side plank, and dip through. And stop now. Gonna do a pullover crunch. Gonna try both dumbbells for this one today. So straighten out the arms behind us. And then we're gonna bring our knees into your chest. Bring the dumbbells down either side of your ankles as we breathe out. Try not to let the dumbbells or your feet hit the ground here. Try and keep those arms nice and straight. Ah. 
and stop. Now we're going to do a half get up. And start on the left side. So pop one dumbbell in the left hand, right arm out the side, right foot out the side. We're going to come up onto your forearm and then up onto your hand. Roll yourself back down. Again, don't bend the elbow of the hand. Just got the dumbbell, just imagine you're holding a glass of water in your hand, you don't want to spill it. Breathe out as you're crunching. And stop now, keeping it in that hand. We're gonna do some cherry pickers next. So this time we stretch the arm out to the side. We're gonna bring the knees in the chest and kick up towards the ceiling. Again, try not to let the feet touch the floor. And stop. Now we're gonna go half get ups on the right side. So take the dumbbell in your right hand, right knee bent, left leg out the side, left hand out the side. Breathe out as you crunch onto the forearm and then onto the hand. Should be starting to get pretty burny right now. Should be starting to scream a little at you. And stop. Now we're on the cherry pickers on this side. So keep the dumbbell in the arms, straighten out the legs, and bring the knees into the chest, and we kick up, and we straighten the back out. Three, two, one, and stop. Now we're gonna do side plank dips. So we get in the side plank position, crisscross the feet over at the bottom, and we're gonna lower the hips down and then lift them up, holding the dumbbell in your hand. Keeping the chest open. those hips on the floor, just barely touch the floor with your pockets and then come back up. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Nice 
swap it on to the other side. So left elbow underneath left shoulder, crisscross the feet, raise up, lower the hips, and push them back up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so no dumbbell required for the next one. I'm gonna do a wee Pilates maneuver called the single leg stretch. Lie flat on your back, raise your upper body up, lift your legs up, place your hands either side of your knees as you bring one leg in and extend the opposite leg. And stop. Now we're going to take both dumbbells and we're going to do our leg lifts again, only we're going to go in different directions here. So we're going to start up the middle and down to the left and down the middle and down to the right and down the middle and down to the left. And stop. Nearly there, guys. Next one, just body weight. We're going to do heel taps. So we raise the upper body up like so. We reach around, pivot to the side, and touch the opposite heel. Make sure your upper body's raised, though, in this one. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Now, one minute of a low plank hold. This is gonna put a finish to this, the abs once and for all. So, down we go. Forearms on the mat, feet hip width apart, glutes clenched, abs drawn in, head up in line with the spine. You can bring your feet together if, if you want to. But make sure your butt is in line with your head, in line with your spine, in line with your heels. Really squeeze the abs in like somebody's about to kick you in the tummy. Draw the belly buttons in towards the spine. And keep those hands apart. Don't bring them into prayer in the middle. Twenty seconds. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, I hope your abs are as burned out as mine are right now. Because that was pretty tough. Now, we're going to start with some step through lunges, okay? So what we do, we grab the dumbbells. We're going to step back with the right foot and do a back lunge. And then we step through and do a front lunge. And we're going to stick with the one side for that, okay? So rather than alternating, we're going to stick with the right side for the first exercise. And then when we get on the next exercise, we switch on to the left. So there's going to be double the burn from last time. So more exercises, more time, more burn. So this is the next level. So get ready to go in four, three, two, one, and away we go. So it's a step back into a lunge and a step forward into a lunge. Straight into the next one. We're looking for right angle as always between hamstring and calves. Bring the knee down to touch the floor, but do not rest it there and do not bang it off the floor. Stay nice and upright throughout, so you're not leaning all your weight onto your front leg, and try, if you can, to balance and not step your foot down halfway through the rep. And stop, good job. So give the leg a little shake out there. And we move on to the other side, okay? So we're stepping back with the left one. And away we go. And step straight into a front lunge. Again, try and minimize that pause. Try not to touch your foot down here. You can do it if you've really lost your balance. But if you engage your glutes and your quads to stabilize you and stop you from doing that, even better. So you're probably here. It's starting to get pretty breathless already. We're not even two minutes into the workout. It's gonna be a long 15 minutes. Up. Now, we're going into a press crunch. So, last time we did a dumbbell chest press. This time we're going to crunch as well as press. So, up we go. Squeeze the dumbbells in towards each other as we crunch up. So, we're not only engaging the chest and triceps, we're also getting the abs thrown into the mix as well. Really think about your chest muscles, your pecs as you're doing that. Try and get them a good contraction during the rep. So we're maximizing our muscle usage throughout. Good stuff. Now we're going over the bend over rows. Now last time we did these single arm alternating. Today we're doing them double time. Okay, so back flat, chest high, squeeze them in, down nice and slow. Don't let the weight pull your shoulders forward. Keep those shoulders pinned back. Keep your core engaged, keep your back nice and flat. So we're not arching into a big curve in the upper back. Let's not tackle the rhomboids and the biceps. And although we're going against the clock here, try not to rush those reps. Try not to go too fast with it. Give your muscles time under tension. And stop. So we're going next into a single leg, stiff leg deadlift. Warning, 
My balance mightn't be fantastic here, but I'm gonna do my best. So raise the left foot one inch off the ground. You're gonna tilt forward, straighten out the leg behind, and try your best not to touch the floor with the leg that's elevated. If you do touch the floor like I just did, make it a gentle tap just to regain your balance. On a nice straight line from the head down to the back foot. Again, not only will this work your hamstrings, but you start to feel a good burn in your glutes because that's your big stabilizer here to stop you from tilting over. And these ones should be done nice and slow and controlled. Try not to rush them. And stop. Give that leg a quick shake out before we go on to the other side. Now this leg traditionally is a little less stable on the right, so let's see what we got. And away we go. So you should feel a nice stretch of the hamstring. But again, keeping that back nice and flat from the back of the head down to the tailbone. Try not to curve your back much during this. You gotta engage your core throughout. And today, my left leg is actually better than my right. Oh, I spoke too soon. And stop, okay. Next, we got Arnie Press. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Okay, so we bring the dumbbells up like so. Like a peaky bay position up in line with the eyes. And we widen them out. And we press up back to here, back in. So I call these peek a presses. But I go by many different names. But this reminds me of peek a here. Here you go. peek a -boo. Also stops you from dropping these down, okay? If you keep them up in line with the eyes. Keep your core strong. You really feel it starting to burn those delts in no time. And stop. Now we're gonna go a crunch with the dumbbell. We're just gonna do single arms today. So we're gonna bring here, and we crunch up to the outside of the opposite leg, and we stick with the one side for now. And we start in the tricep extension position, and we go into a full extension of the arm as you crunch up and bring your hand to the opposite side of the opposite knee. And stop, now we're gonna stay down, we're gonna swap it on to the other side. So, bend the left elbow, keep it tucked in right near your ear, and then you're gonna crunch up, and extend that arm, and come back again. And again, as you extend the dumbbell, it's going past the outside of your right knee, with your left hand. Now the abs will start to feel pretty burning right now. We're already pretty exhausted with the press crunch earlier. Try and get that breathing out as well. So crunch, breathe as you're crunching. So your diaphragm is not full of air. As you're coming up the crunch of the abdominals 
and stop good job okay up next we got some bicep curls last time we did alternate bicep curls today we did them double time so both at the same time keep those nails pointing forward start with the arms relatively straight the shoulders pinned back and we don't bring them right up to our shoulders what I don't want to see is this okay keep the core strong engage your glutes squeeze the abs in squeeze the glutes and then we squeeze the biceps so think about the muscle grip you're trying to work trying to work those biceps Okay, now we're going to do a side raise and then into a front raise, okay? So a minute of side raises might be a bit much. So we start here, we go up and then double arms out the front. Don't let those dumbbells hit your thighs or your hips. Keep them inch apart. Keep your core strong so we're not swinging into them. This is going to be a little killer. And again, we don't swing from the hips, guys. So try not to tilt forward. Try not to rest them on your thighs or your hips. Keep them a couple inches apart. Breathe out on exertion. And stop. So we're going down now. We're going to do a chest fly. So nice easy one after that. So we start here. We keep the arms relatively straight. We lower them right down and bring them back up. So you've got soft elbows to begin with, but the elbows do not bend any more than they're already bent at the start of the rep. And at the end of the rep, the arms stay the same as a no bend in the elbow. So try not to turn it into a press when you bring the arms down low. So really focus on squeezing those packs together at the top. And these are pretty light dumbbells, but I gotta say guys, at this stage of the workout, they're starting to feel pretty damn heavy and stop. So we're going into a goblet squat next. So the upper body gets a rest here while we take this like so and we squat down nice and deep and away we go. Again, I'm looking to get that butt nice and low. Legs parallel with the knees. Try not to tilt too far forward to so keep this in nice and tight into your collarbone rather than having it out front like that. Because it'll tilt, tilt you forward, gravity will take you forward, putting all the weight on the quads and the knees, rather than firing up those glutes and getting them working. And now, we're going back to bend over rows. However, this time the angle of your hands changes a little. So you turn your nails outward this time and pull them in like so. Just catches the rhomboids in a different way. So get some more biceps in there too. Keep that core strong. Keep the abs drawn in. And really focus on pulling the shoulder blades back. Keep the head in line with the spine. So from the top of your tailbone, the back of your head should be a nice straight line like a ski slope. Without any bumps in the, on the slope. Up. 
Ah, stop now, finally. Last exercise, tricep kickbacks. All right, now we did this the other day, single arm alternating. We're doing both at the same time, so this is a horrible one to finish. So, elbows in line with spine, extend those arms back to your pockets. Don't go up to your shoulders like this. We don't want momentum helping us at all during this. We want all triceps and a little smidge of core to keep you in position. There's no rest time here at all. Triceps getting double the work they did in the last one. Ten seconds left. Got it out. Don't let the form drop. Keep those elbows up and land in the back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Oh, whoo! So, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you liked about it or what you disliked about it. Leave your comments below. Check out all our videos here. We got over 250 videos here. Something for everybody on there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a Zeus Fitness workout again. Give it a go, guys. Hope you feel as wrecked as I do after that one. I'll see you real soon.